In this presentation we're going to look at logistic regression and in particular what we're going to look at is variable selection procedures. Now the version of SPSS we're using is version 21. For best use on for best viewing on YouTube I suggest full screen mode. The data set we're using is called log z as in logistic disease. Uh, it's available at kobriandublin.wordpress.com in the SPSS section. Now more or less what we're doing is analyze regression binary logistic. That's the overall structure to what we're doing. Now the structure of the data set is as follows. The dependent variable is called disease and the uh, possible explanatory variables are as follows. Age, Sciostat, Sector and Savings. We're going to disregard the ID variable. Uh, just as a remark, a lot of these variables are actually categorical. So let's bring up the data set now. So here's the general uh, gist of it again. I've done this previously, but I'll just go over it again. Analyze lo regression, logistic regression. So what we're going to do here is, uh, by the way, they are all set up as categorical variables now, apart from age. So that's uh, fine there. So just so I'm going to focus in now on these explanatory variables, these covariates here. We have four explanatory variables, but it may not be the case that all of them are useful. For example, savings might not be a good predictor of disease. Uh, Siostat might not be a good predictor. Age might not be a good predictor. So what we're going to do is, step by step, we're going to input the most useful variable and then see how it, if it can be improved. So uh, there are two types of variable uh, selection procedures. There's two general families. There's the uh, forward selection where we start with, let's say, no variables and add them up incrementally. Or there's backward selection where, in this case, we start with all four and try and decrease if uh, uh, the number of variables if it improves the model. I'm only going to look at two here. I'm going to start a uh, quickly look at forward conditional and backward conditional. There's no particular reason to, um, I, uh, why I'm not using any of the other ones uh, with regards to this video. So let's start off with forward conditional. Let's click on that. So uh, this is essentially what we start off with here is uh, a couple of descriptive statistics and uh, so on. So uh, in the first off, like step zero, uh, variables not in the equation, so there are actually no variables in the equation. So what has happened here, I'm going to sort of skim down here now for a second, in area. So uh, in the first instance, uh, this is variables in the equation. So we have, in step zero, there are no um, equations in the, uh, or no variables in the equation. But what has happened here in the first instance, sector has been brought in as a way of predicting disease. Okay, and we have the odds ratio there, 0 0.291, and the confidence interval, for, confidence interval for that, 0 0.153, 0 0.553, and that we can um, make out the uh, an equation based on this, these two values here. In the second instance though, it has decided that the model will be improved by adding age as a second covariate, as a second independent variable. So in the, in the second, for the second iteration, we use age and sector as an explanatory variable for, um, as an explanatory variable for, uh, as explanatory variables for uh, predicting uh, disease. And again, we have the estimates here, the regression estimates here. We have the odds ratio here, and we have the confidence interval for the odds ratios there. We also have the constant term there. So uh, what has happened here is that socio, this, these are the variables not in the equation. So in the second case, uh, so the variables that do not get used is uh, socio, uh, sociostat. Uh, socio uh, socioeconomic status and savings. These variables do not get used. Now, uh, I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to sort of uh, s s uh, move on from that now. I'm just going to go back to analyze and I'm going to do the same uh, procedure again. I'm going to just have a quick look at backward regression. So analyze regression, binomial logistic or binary logistic. And this time I'm just going to switch to backward conditional and we're just going to run that as well. And just let, give it a second to load up. And 
there we go so I'll just start here now so in the first instance we have backwards uh, regression and I'm just going to sort of skip down here for a second now so there we are so this is very similar to what we have in the last model um, or the last uh, part of this presentation but in here we're starting off with step 1a and we have every variable and every level of the categorical variables uh, in the model so what has happened in the first instance is that you might be able to see that uh, sociological status or socioeconomic status has been removed from the model and is um, so we have in the second phase we have age sector and savings so this is it has improved the model and in the third uh, iteration we have age and sector only so the savings has got removed from the equation as uh, from the equation as well so pretty much we have a uh, forward selection and uh, backward selection have given us the same model now to quickly what I'm just going to go down to is the sorry just move back up here is a couple of uh, model uh, summary statistics and what has happened here is that uh, the R squared values and the Nagel Kirk and uh, so on R squared values and uh, uh, we can sort of see a definite trend there uh, increasing and decreasing as as the case is okay that is I'm actually going to talk about them separately in a different uh, presentation so I'm going to leave that for now